What's up, y'all? I'm Jordy, and it's Terrapagos time. Terrapagos is a really weird mod. Uh, this team was sent uh, to the Pokesports Discord by Jayotic NL. Uh, thank you, Jay. Uh, this team is so cool, and not a lot of people are playing Terrapagos, because, like I said, it's a very weird mod. Uh, so let me explain. Terra Shift is the little baby Terrapagos' ability which basically means you don't play as baby little Terrapagos. As soon as it hits the field, they gave this thing stats for some reason, but they never apply. Uh, as soon as you hit the field, you Terra Shift into the shell form, which has the ability Terra Shell. Terra Shell makes it so that any incoming move, when you're at full health, will do not very effective damage. You're, you're still a normal type, you're a normal type all the way through, but even a fighting move will register as not very effective at your, if you're at full health. This even applies to stuff like Urshifu Surging Strikes, whereas with multi-scale, the first hit would do half and the rest would do normal damage. This takes the whole move and makes it not very effective, so every hit of Surging Strikes is not very effective, every hit of Icicle Spear is not very effective, etc. So in that form, you're very bulky, and that lets you set up as many Calm Minds as you want, basically. Uh, we've also got a lot of support on this team, we got Fake Out, so that you can help get more Calm Minds up. We got Amoongus to Spore Rage Powder and Pollen Puff back up to the shell, which is great. The third ability of Terrapagos is when it Stellar Terras. You have to be Stellar Terra on Terrapagos, you can't change that. And when you do tell her Stellar Terra, when you Terra Stellar, uh, you go into the Terrastal form, which has Terraform Zero as its ability. Terraform Zero activates only once per battle. So when you Terrastalize, that's when the ability goes off, and it'll remove terrain and remove weather. Kind of like an ice spinner, where it just gets rid of it. You can set those back up if you like swap back in or out, or use the move again. Uh, but at least one time you can turn stuff off. Which is really convenient for Terrapagos, because there's a lot of weather and terrain running around. And turning those off is great, especially at turning off electric terrain to pair with this Amoongus Spore. Because you can't spore stuff on the electric terrain. Now that's how Terrapagos works. Now Terra Star Storm is also a weird move. So it's 120 power, normal. Single target. 100 accuracy. So it's actually a really good move just on its own. But when you Stellar Terra, it becomes a stellar move. 120 power, spread. Uh, and Terrapagos has this weird effect where all of its moves get the Stellar Terra boost every time, instead of just one time. But because Star Storm becomes a Stellar move, it does only get the 1.2 boost inside of Stellar Terra, instead of the uh, two times boost that you would get from a normal move, for example. So you might see some people running Terrapagos with, like, Tri Attack, because that actually gets a really significant boost inside Stellar Terra. Uh, now, like I said, the rest of the team supports it. Mimikyu can set Trick Room pretty consistently, so can Farigaraf. Amoongus Redirection Pollen Puff, Incineroar Fake Out Parting Shot, you've seen all that before. And finally, Araquanid. Araquanid with Wide Guard, Liquidation Lunge, Clear Amulet, Terra Water. You don't usually click the Terra on anything other than Terrapagos here, which is a big downside to Terrapagos. Uh, but that thing can hit hard, even without that, inside of Trick Room. So, we're gonna go on the casual ladder. We're gonna hope to find some good Regulation G matches. Uh, I promise you I'll find some. And, uh, let's get on with it. Alright, up against Paolo, and that is my Zamazenta team. Awesome! Alright, so they got Zamazenta, a body press set. They've got Screens Grim, Sinistra, Milotic, a Nasty Plot, uh, Moltres, and an Incineroar that doesn't have a Dark move, but does have Taunt. That could be a little annoying for Terrapagos. Oh, Terrapagos is hard countered by Zamazenta. That is not good. Um, I know Amoongus is annoying for that team. I might have to use Amoongus and try to avoid getting taunted while I set up. Um, what's the speed stat on this Incineroar? Slower than the Incineroar on that team. Got it. So we're not going to be able to get a fake out onto them. <laughs> Okay, uh, I do think then it is Terrapagos Amoongus. Getting set up as quickly as possible needs to be the priority. That's how you beat that team. Uh, we need to have 
Amoongus for the redirection. If we get body pressed, we're in trouble. Uh, but if we stay at full health, we can take a body press since it'll be resisted. Uh, Incineroar is iffy. Oh, I never realized how bad Incineroar's matchup is into that team. Because you want it. Hmm. Araquanid and Incineroar do seem good, I guess. I need to be careful about bringing Incineroar in on that Milotic. Oh, that's so cool, fighting my own team. It's basically the team I used in the GC, except with Azamazenta instead of Gudra. I say basically, it's exactly that. Oh, and they have a trainer card. Alright, Paolo. You're using a Jordy team and you're fighting a Jordy. And they do go with the Zamazenta mode. Yeah, they know what's up. But, and this is amazing for me, they did not lead Incineroar. If they had watched my Global Challenge video, they would know. If, I, if there's an Amoongus on the other side, you need Incineroar. So, we are going to Calm Mind, and we are going to Spore the Zama. Zamazenta just protects. Okay, you're going to get a screen up. That's fine. Or you'll Parting Shot, Spirit Break. Parting Shot. Okay, here comes Incineroar. Got it. I see what you're doing. That's a good play. I think that's a good play, because you protect, you bring an Incineroar. I couldn't spore the Incineroar slot. Ah, oh, alright. Maybe they did watch. <laughs> they know what they're doing. This is, a, this is gonna be a good match. Okay. This is gonna be a real cool match. We get the Calm Mind, that just boosts our special defense now. We're at neutral special attack. We're gonna need some more special attack. Uh, they're definitely going to go for an iron defense here. What can I do about that? I can make some room with this Incineroar. I think I'm safe to Calm Mind for now. And bring in the Incineroar. That'll give me a fake out turn. I can protect and get back into Amoongus for a Rage Powder. How many Calm Mind boosts do I think I need to Oko as Amazenta? And is Earth Power stronger? I think Earth Power is stronger than a Star Storm because of the spread reduction. Yeah, you go for Iron Defense. I'm sure Incineroar is about to get taunted. That's fine. What's the speed stat on this Terrapagos? Like, I don't know Terrapagos' stats that well because then they change between forms. And it's just a taunt. Okay. Zama might protect so that they can get like a parting shot or something off into Terrapagos and I could fake them out and get another Calm Mind. Maybe that's what I should do. I want to know your stats though. No investment 105, so it's like 85-ish base speed. That's cool. Um, and this has some speed investment? No, okay, so you should be like about 85 base speed, cool. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna Calm Mind again. And fake out there Incineroar. Oh, it's not a Protect from Zamazenta. Yikes, sorry Incineroar, you're gone. Oh no, they're just breaking the Terra Shell here. That's fine. That's totally fine with me. I'm gonna go ahead and get another Calm Mind boost. Alright, spread Star Storm. Star Storm, oh, okay, they both get a 20% boost. Starstorm is 120. And so spread. I think Starstorm becomes 120, right? <laughs> I wish I I wish I knew this Pokemon a little better, but that's why we're playing it. Yeah, Starstorm's 120 spread. So that becomes 90. Earth power would be doubled, yeah. So it's gotta be Earth Power. Uh, but of course it's a protect and an into a move. <laughs> Actually, okay. Let's let's see what happens this turn. I assume we're gonna block a body press. No, body press goes right into a moongus. That does a chunk. Are you gonna call that in flare blitz? Oh, you're gonna call that in taunt. Oh gosh, you're amazing. 
I'm getting wrecked here. Oh yeah. Z Zamazenta. If you're worried about Terrapagos, Zamazenta is a Terrapagos counter. Holy cow. Okay. You body press the Terrapagos here. There's nothing I can do about it. Good plays. Oh, wow. Okay, uh, I guess I go into a rock when it because I don't want to die. I could pollen puff my own Araquanid, but I think getting a regenerator and going back into Incineroar might be the play. Oh, jeez. <laughs> this is a good game for the for this. I like it. All right, I'm wondering, do I have an end game against Zamazenta if it isn't a Terrapagos? Because I may never be able to get something off onto it. If I can get rid of Incineroar, maybe we'd be talking. But that's going to do less than half. Good. Oh, and they parting shot out. That's cool. Now maybe I can bring in Amoongus and start hitting that thing? Oh lord. Into a Grim Snarl, fine. Alright, how do I position beating the Zamazenta? Uh, I could throw a Liquidation. I'm not sure it'll do enough. We have Terra Ghost. That's really good. I'm gonna fake out Liquidation first. Oh, they, they let me get it. That's great. Parting Shot is blocked by the Clear Amulet. Thank you. And I get a little tiny bit of chip on the Zamazenta. Okay. I could hard into a Moongus now. No, I want I want another liquidation into Zamazenta. No, not fake out. I want to tear a ghost. And I want to flare blitz Zamazenta. Zamazenta needs to go. Oh, this is probably Incineroar, right? Oh, I should have read that and liquidated that slot. I think Zamazenta takes this double up, if I'm being honest. But ho I think they'll probably waste a body press into Incineroar. Of course, their Incineroar is faster than my Incineroar, because their Incineroar is my Incineroar, and my Incineroar is someone else's Incineroar. Oh no, they just body press a Raquinid, which we eat, but not very well. Come on, tell me this is a KO. Yes! Was that a crit? Yeah, okay. I'll take it. I know that's probably not fair. I know that's... Oh, that's kind of rough. I, I'm gonna hope that this double up was gonna take it anyway. Oh, and now we get that into Incineroar. That's game. Oh, that crit was all we needed. Oh. That is a flaw with Zamazenta. On that team, it was originally Shell Armor Gudra, which cannot be critted. And honestly, if it was Gudra, I don't think we could have won. And Milotic is their last. Um, can Milotic carry them? No, I think St Teller, St Stellar Terra Starstorm can win this. Uh, we have to be careful, though, not to uh, <laughs> uh, piss off that Milotic. No point in wide guarding for the rest of the game. Uh, I'm going to try to click Liquidation into Grimmsnarl. In fact, I'll try to delete Grimmsnarl as much as I can. And battle was just cancelled. Good game. You really countered me, and then I won with a lucky crit. Alright, now we've got... Oh, that is so cool. Alright, they've got a Maridon team. We're actually doing a regulation G match. With the Paradox High Dragon. That's such a sick combo. Okay, they've also got Archaladon, Thunderous, who probably has Rain Dance. 
uh, an Urshifu form. I would guess water if you, if I'm thinking Rain Dance. And Ferrugraph is probably just anti-Trick Room stuff. Uh, so our Trick Room stuff probably won't work. How does Terrapagos fare into this matchup? They do have a fighting type with Urshifu. But that shouldn't be anything Amoongus can't handle. Amoongus can't spore nothing, which is bad. It would just be a Rage Powder bot. And they have ways around Fake Out as well. Oh, that's obnoxious. And they probably have Snarl on their Iron Jugulus. That's its name, Jugulus. Oof, um... I like Terrapagos, Incineroar, Amoongus. I'm not going to be able to get Trick Room, most likely. And I think I like... I like Mimikyu, actually. You know what? Maybe I can go for Trick Room in the later game, just not right away. I think that's what I'm going to try to do. I'm going to try to position Terrapagos to do something. I'm not too excited about this matchup. Miraidon is terrifying, but it's a special attacker. If I can get some Calm Mind boosts... Oh, it's a Fue Coco! I love Fue Coco. Fue Coco in the anime is such a little derp. That was my starter too, is Fue Coco. But it turns out choosing Fue Coco was bad, because now Kiram White can't uh, just mash A through the uh, post-game tournament anymore. If, if you know what I'm talking about, you know what I'm talking about. I'm not going to explain any more than that. Alright, Cork Drive on the Jugulus gets its speed. Yep. This is the exact combo I was worried about. Uh, I should be able to fake out Jugulus and set up a Calm Mind. I'm thinking fake out toward Jugulus because... I would think Jugulus would be the one to swap out if they go into something. I don't know. I'm, I'm, it's gonna have Snarl. It definitely has Snarl. And I don't want to get Snarled. I want to get a Calm Mind boost up. So yeah, I want to fake out Jugulus and try to Calm Mind. And they let me do it. Oh, are they gonna be Cloak? Dragon Cheer! They are Cloak. Oh, Lord. Lord have mercy. Alright, and they're just gonna destroy my Incineroar's whole life. Goodbye, Incineroar. <laughs> you ain't taking an Electro Drift at crits. Oh boy. Alright, we can turn off the terrain if we Terra our Terrapagos. It might be time to do that. And try to set up Trick Room. Yeah, because Jugulus would hit first if Terrain is up, but if Terrain goes second... Yeah, if Jugul if I turn off Terrain, Maridon should be faster than Jugulus. So then Jugulus would have to hit Mimikyu first, meaning Mimikyu can probably live the turn. Terra... The question is whether I go for a Star Storm or just an Earth Power into Maridon. I think Earth Power into Maridon does more. And I'll set Trick Room. Normally I would want to keep Terra Shell intact, but I'm getting rid of the electric terrain to manipulate how they have to hit my Mimikyu. They could be doubling into Terrapagos, but I think without the terrain and with my plus one special defense and my now way boosted HP, I think I could take it. Yeah, it's just a Snarl. I'm back down to neutral. Wait, you're still faster than Maridon. Oh, that, that combo didn't work the way I wanted it to. Hmm. Well, that's just a slow Maridon. That's fine. Uh, I don't think you KO me, though. Yeah, we tell. Oh, we barely take that. Good job, Mimikyu. Oh, Mimikyu, you are the savior. And Maridon takes about half. That's enough for me. Because we should be able to play rough and earth power now. Just 
play Rough the Jugulus, Earth Power the Maridon. That should be good. Maybe I want a Star Storm instead, just in case they try to Terra out of this. Mimikyu would go first. No, I think I think it's still safe to Earth Power play Rough. Oh, uh, they swap Maridon. They want their terrain back. That's fair. So, uh, I guess Star Storm would have been better since it's thunderous. And Jugulus lives. That's not great. Oh, uh, they might have Eerie Impulse on that thing too. Hmm. Okay, Mimikyu's down. <laughs> not great. We're on our lasts. But our lasts are pretty good. Because we got a Moongus. Uh, you cannot avoid Spore if you're in the air. So I think I just throw a Terra Star Storm. No, right now it's more important. I need to get rid of Jugulus first. But then it's more important that I Rage Powder away a possible Eerie Impulse. Okay, it's just Thunder is swapping anyway. I was gonna try to Spore that slot, it wouldn't have worked. So Rage Powder's fine. I guess my best play there would have been to do some Pollen Puff offense damage, but who cares about that? Yeah, you boost your speed again, whatever. Trick Room's up. You were already faster than everything. Even at minus one, this Star Storm's gonna do some good damage. I hope. <laughs> Terrapagos honestly isn't that strong. That's pretty good. The next one does not KO Maridon, though. Uh, Urshifu is what she got. Okay. It's Water Urshifu. Yes! Oh, thank goodness. Two turns of Trick Room left. I'm going to go with Earth Power at Maridon, and I have to go for Rage Powder. I, I can't get hit by a close combat. That would be the worst. Uh, Maridon just protected. Fine. Uh, I should have I gone for the Calm Mind. Darn. Okay. Uh, they probably swap out to Thunderous on the last turn of uh, the, the Trick Room here. That did some damage. Oh, jeez. Uh, but we got the Rocky Helmet. That's good. Now I'm going to throw a Star Storm. And I need to keep Rage Powdering. Yeah, I do correctly predict the Maridon to leave. That's good. Uh, I think our Terrapagos can handle the Maridon. I just don't think we have the damage output to get through these two before Amoongus goes down. I should have gone for the Calm Mind on that Protect turn. I, I wanted to, but I was too scared. Uh, Urshifu will go down to another Star Storm. That's good. The problem would be a possible... I guess they could swap Urshifu. Uh, I'm gonna just keep going for Star Storm. And I have to go for Rage Powder still. Oh, they just, they're just staying in? Yo, that's fine by me. If I can get rid of Urshifu, I might be able to win this. I imagine Amoongus goes down to like a Thunderbolt or something. Oh, Urshifu goes down, that's great, because that way we get single target now. Oh, this is Wild Bolt Storm. Amoongus eats. Thank you, Amoongus. Who, uh, that's fine. You, get, you, you were supposed to be dead anyway. That's amazing. 
We can probably stall out this electric terrain now. Decent damage onto Thunderous. And they have a berry. Okay, they have Wild Bolt Storm. Uh, I predicted them to have, what, Rain Dance, was it? So, they might not have room for Eerie Impulse. Alright, I want to stall out terrain. How many turns of terrain are left? This is the last one. So actually, maybe I don't care about stalling out terrain. Yeah, I predicted them to have Rain Dance. They have Wild Bolt Storm Rain Dance. I think they probably would have taunted if they had taunt. They might have Eerie Impulse. Uh, I like Earth Power into Maridon and a Rage Powder. Mm, just to protect Maridon. Okay, last turn of terrain is gone. That's great. The problem is now the Eerie Impulses. But I'm going to uh, protect to try to see what you got. And to get some leftovers HP back, of course. This is coming down to it. This is a good match. This could really go either way. Like, Terrapagos is so bulky, has its special defense up. Uh, we know the Maridon probably has Scope Lens, so it doesn't have a boosting item. Oh, but that Scope Lens could cause a problem. That's a 1 in 8 crit chance. Yeah, I'm gonna protect here just in case you want to burn Terra. Then I can switch over to Star Storm. Want to see what your. Thunderous has. Oh, it has electric terrain! Yo! That's a cool tech. That's a really cool tech, because that reactivates Maridon's ability. So sick. Okay, no way do you have Eerie Impulse, Electric Terrain, Wild Bolt Storm, Protect. And, and what else did I say? Rain Dance? I should be good to Earth Power your Maridon now. Yeah, it is Rain Dance. I'm not sure what. Oh, just to get Wild Bolt Storm accuracy up. Alright, if this doesn't crit, I think we can win. Oh, it did crit! I don't know if we can win! <laughs> Alright, that's Scope Lens Maridon, definitely. Oh my goodness. Oh, if that hadn't crit, it would have done 1.5 less and 1.5 less. I don't know exactly what the math on that is, but I think we would be over half right now. Uh, gotta protect. Free leftovers tick. Um, the one good thing is they don't get a boost from electric terrain. I don't remember exactly how much we took from the last Wild Bolt Storm, and the next one won't miss. Uh, and that's about how much we did with single targets, so it'll be maybe a two-shot here. So we have to take two Wild Bolt Storms. I don't know if that's doable. Oh, they Terra. If they're Terra Electric, they get the boost, and they get the other boost. They get the Terrain boost now. And they're Terra Electric. We're dead. We're so dead to that. But we get Double Power Star Storm if they don't KO us. This is- oh, this is totally gonna do it. Good game. That was a great game, and it does pick up the KO on Terrapagos. Wow. That was a cool set you got there. Dragon Cheer into Maridon? I'm gonna try that out. That's sick. That's so sick. GG, PK. Wow. And you got a good trainer card? I love you. Alright, Falcon. Uh, this is actually a regulation F team. But it's a cool one. They've got Bisharp, presumably that's Eviolite Bisharp. They got Fluttermane, Talonflame, Raichu. They've got uh, Golden Go, and they've got Urshifu. Raichu and Talonflame and Golden Go. Who is the biggest threat to Terrapagos? That's Urshifu, and I don't know which Urshifu it is. I think setting up Trick Room would be nice. Mental Herb Mimikyu should be able to guarantee it. And I don't see any snarls. Flutter could be in prison, but that's fine. 
Uh, so I think I want to go straight with Terrapagos. If it is Urshifu, I want Amoongus. If it's Dark Urshifu... Uh, what's the Terra on this? Flutter Grass? Oh, that makes sense. Um, Flutter can... Not Flutter. Uh, Mimikyu can totally hit a Dark Urshifu. And Amoongus can redirect hits while we Star Storm them. So it's probably fine. Uh, I guess I want Incineroar just to make a little bit more space. There's a few things that can't be faked out there, though. Um, but I don't... I don't hate Araquanid in Trick Room. I think I'll do Araquanid over Incineroar. I, I don't want to trigger Defiant. There's a few fake-out immunities. There could even be, like, Covert Cloak Talonflame or Quick Guard Talonflame. I think Quick Guard Raichu, is that a thing? Nice shot. Nice shot, Palm Trees. Should have been the uh, Palm Tree Executor. Raichu and B Sharp. Cool. Uh, what problems does this cause? Uh, they could have Fake Out. They could have Eerie Impulse. I think I'm going to set Trick Room. And just protect Terrapagos. Maybe I'm being too oversensitive here. It's a fling of a flame orb. Okay, Mimikyu is burned. Cool play. That's, that's a cool move. Fling flame orb. I've never seen that on Raichu. I've seen fling King's Rock. That would have been a good play too. And then comboed into Iron Head. Yeah, Mimikyu's gone. We ain't getting no trick room today. That was cool. Well, in that case, we're gonna have to rage powder away and start calm minding. That's fine by me. Rage powder. Calm mind. And I would have had to terrestrialize Mimikyu to be able to pull that off then, but you can't do that on a Terrapagos team. Like, maybe I should have seen the Iron Head double up, but wasn't really much I could do about it. And I still think we're in a fine position. Like, as long as we get a boost or two on Terrapagos and start hitting, I'm happy. The question is whether I should get greedy. That does about a third total. Okay. Maybe I can pull off a spore here. And just protect Terrapagos. Just play the real slow game. Play it real slow. Yeah, because they're gonna try to nuzzle that slot. They wanna break the shell, they wanna get the para. And then combo that into Iron Heads. Yeah, they double Terrapagos. As expected. And I get the score. Excellent. Alright, now I'm happy to... Hopefully I get the Rage Powder. And then just Earth Power into Raichu. I'm not going to go ahead and burn Terra yet. I want to keep my shell intact. Uh, Bisharp just swaps. That's fine. Into Fluttermane. Cool. Hopefully I get the Rage Powder so I don't get Parrot. And I was thinking that the Rocky Helmet was good to break a potential Sash on Raichu, but it already revealed Flamor. So I don't know why I was worried about that. But this Earth Power should do it at plus one. I don't know what Terrapagos' stats are, but that should be enough. It's just a Raichu. Though possibly a tanky Raichu, since it can burn and paralyze. Fluttermane's just a Fluttermane. Not too scared of that. Uh, is this going to be a Protect and Spore Flutter? No, I think this is a Calm Mind and Spore Flutter. Oh, it's Perish Song Flutter! Okay, I'll get out.
man. Unless I can end this in two turns. That might be doable. Uh, Moongus is fully paralyzed anyway. Alright, I'll get a Moongus out first. Since I, I already lost a Mon, so I have to take a couple turns to get these out. I'll bring in a Raquinid. And I'm just gonna start hitting. Stellar. Star Storm. Let's just start hitting. Presumably you're gonna want to swap both of yours. You've already lost one, so you can only swap one at a time as well. I would think you want Bisharp to uh, burn a sleep turn, so he's gonna stay in. Oh, but you're leaving Fluttermane in too. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a if I'm not being threatened for a KO, I could even Star Storm again next turn and then get out. Just clean. Who cares about that? I did nothing. Uh, Bisharp wakes up. Goes for an Iron Head punch. That makes sense. But we get the Star Storm off. Let's go. Does it blow anything up? Probably not. I think they can both take this. Fluttermane takes it really well. Holy cow. Wow. Fell to two, fell to two, fell to two. You have to swap one this turn. Otherwise, something's going down to the Parish. I think a Liquidation play is pretty good. I'll go after the Fluttermane. And I'll just bring in a Moongus. Feels bad to give up the boosts, but it's better than giving up the Terrapagos. They just leave both in. Okay, they're accepting something's gonna go down. Bisharp's gonna go down to the Rocky Helmet here. Which means you can't swap Fluttermane anymore. Uh-oh, SpaghettiOs. Not that you were gonna have a Fluttermane anymore. Goodbye. All right, that, uh, that Parasong did force me out, but uh, you got a lot of room to make up. Who could you have in the back that can win this? Let's see. Probably Urshifu. Golden Go. Air Balloon, Golden Go. I mean, Make It Rain doesn't hurt Araquanid. Your Air Balloon. So you're not gonna have the power to KO Araquanid. What's this Araquanid stats look like? Max HP. I think we can take any move with Araquanid from here. So I'm gonna Liquidation. I guess I should Rage Powder. Who knows if they have like Thunderbolt. Rage Powder does work against Golden Ghost. All right, they're gonna go Terra Dragon. Okay, one good thing is Terrapagos now hits you super effective. <laughs> One bad thing is you might be nasty plotting in my face. You are nasty plotting in my face. Okay, but nasty plot Golden Go typically will only have Shadow Ball and Make It Rain. So I should be able to wide guard a Make It Rain, bring in Terrapagos, who's immune to Shadow Ball. Uh, I guess I could be in trouble if you Shadow Ball a Raquinid. Because then if a Raquinid goes down, I lose my Wide Guard. Dragon Terra Blast. Never have I seen that before. That's sick. That was a cool move. Uh, Make It Rain is stronger than that. Hopefully, a super effective Star Storm can knock you out. A Moongus can't really do nothing. Uh, but I guess I could... Rage Powder if you go for a single target move. But you should just make it rain here, get the double KO. Well, does it KO Terrapagos? I don't know. You don't have a booster item. 
Terrapagos eats, Amoongus eats. I should have pollen puffed. No way did I think Amoongus was gonna eat that. Bop. Goodbye. Oh yeah. That's what Terrapagos do. Oh, I love it. Woo! Good game, Falcon. You really made me fight. Those are some weird mons, but that still came down to the wire. Good job. Okay, we've got a fight here against a Maridon team. A very strange Maridon team. Annihilate, Shift Tree, um, Hammer Girl, Fluttermane, and Blood Moon Ursaluna. Hammer Girl, Hammer Girl. Tinkaton, thank you. Maridon we've seen is scary, but Terrapagos can turn that off. They don't have anything too scary to Terrapagos except Annihilate, which is good. Uh, I don't think they have a beat up user. Uh, we need some Calm Mind boosts, otherwise the Blood Moon could be a problem. I like a Terrapagos lead, and I I like the idea of Trick Room, but Mold Breaker Tinkaton can stop it. And a Fluttermane plus um, Maridon could stop it. There's a lot of ways to stop it. If they go with one of those ways, maybe we could just bring Incineroar or something? Uh, maybe it's an Amoongus lead. It can't spore any. Oh, it can spore something because we can turn off. Yeah, we can turn off their terrain at some point to get a spore off if we need. I'm not even going to go for Trick Room, because Blood Moon is just going to be slower anyway. We're going to play the tanky game. And they don't have a trainer card. Hmm. 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 I don't know about that. But you've got a very interesting team. I want to see what you're trying to do here. Yeah, it's Flutter Maridon, so I think they were ready to stop a potential um, Trick Room from Mimikyu. They should have enough power. I, I guess I could have gone like Amoongus and set Trick Room with Mimikyu, but then those two are so passive. So it wouldn't have done anything. Okay. I wanted to call mind and I will. And I'm just gonna rage powder. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna play anything risky. Cause like a Fluttermane light tap breaking the shell into Electro Drift will probably just KO. Yeah, they're just gonna lightly tap me with dazzling gleam. Does two ticks of left leftovers get that back? No. Oh, and they have snarled. That's bad. <laughs> Don't like that. but we've got plays we can make about that. Yeah, I'm going to pull a play that you basically never see, ever. You should probably never try this with any other Pokemon. I'm gonna Terra Protect, because then I can Spore. Fluttermain swaps, that's fine. into Shift Tree. Okay, they're probably going to have a fake out turn later then. I'm going to get rid of your terrain and spore your Maridon. Seeing the uh, Rage Powder, you're probably just going to go for Snarl again, which is fine. Goodbye, Electricity. And we get our Protect off. Excellent. Yep, it's just another Snarl, as expected. And it was doing a lot of damage, too. Is that like a Specs Maridon or something? Or is it just that strong? Night, night. Now, should I get greedy or not? I think this is a fine time to Calm Mind again. 
and then bring in Incineroar. It'll lower their attack stat, it'll give me a fake out turn, it'll regenerate a Moongus. They didn't even swap Maridon, that's interesting. I kinda hope Maridon is like AV or Specs or something. That way I can just get a fake out turn and do it. Uh, they're tailwinding themselves, that's cool. Get their own attack boost. Your team was already faster, but getting attack boost for your for your wind rider, that's nice. Okay, um As much as I want to earth power the Maridon, I probably need to fake out and star storm, because Shift Tree is also a threat, believe it or not. So I'll star storm and I will fake out Maridon just in case it wakes up. I could hope for more sleep turns. And if they stay in to burn sleep turns, then I could end up going back to Amoongus and Sporing again, because you need to swap to get your terrain back. If you know how that works, because uh, Terrapagos' ability is a once per battle effect. Shiftry swaps, didn't expect that. I'm cool with that, that's fine. That means Maridon's staying in and you got two mons taking a big hit. Though big is relative, I did get snarled once. Oh, and they do wake up, and they're overflow. Ah! <laughs> Things don't want to go my way today, that's fine. Some days you're a winner, and some days you're a wiener. Alright, hopefully this still does something. I'm spreading some sort of damage. I think I'll win the uh, tankiness war over time. Uh, I'm still at neutral special attack and, and plus special defense, so that's fine. I think I'll parting shot into a Raquinid and then click wide guard. I'm gonna protect. I'm gonna parting shot, weaken you up a little bit. Now that we know your covert cloak, and we can. Okay, you swap, you want your terrain back, that's fine. That means you can't snarl me next turn. And your shift tree being weakened will be nice. Unless you're like, clear amulet. No, we intimidated you, you can't be clear amulet. Power gem flutter, ouch. We eat though. We eat our berry, that is. This is a good match too, wow. This casual ladder is pretty competitive these days. I love it. Alright, get you an attack drop. Cancel out that tailwind boost you got. And I could've just attacked with Terrapagos. Um, is Araquanid the play? If you're Power Gem, you're probably Spexed. I'm gonna go Amoongus. That'll probably bait in Maridon. Which is fine. Because I can go for a Star Storm and a Pollen Puff into Shift Tree. I think Fluttermane would probably be the one to swap in right here into Maridon. Because you don't want Flutter going to sleep. I can't spore the Shift Tree anyway. Shift Tree's pretty safe. Swapping back into Ensign here could have also been a good play. But I could just do that next turn and protect. Uh, Incense health is getting chipped down pretty significantly though. So I don't want to like swap it in all willy-nilly. Yeah, they were trying to read that swap. That's cool. Oh! Their explosion! That's hilarious! I love that. Oh my goodness, by a moon. <laughs> Alright, that gives me a single target hit, which is actually pretty cool. But oh my gosh. That's great. I love that. Wow. Alright, how much does this do? Are you in range for a spread one? Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. That's so cool. Alright. Uh, Tailwind's gone. Tailwind never mattered. Uh, Incineroar can't even fake out the Maridon, so it's gotta be a Raquidid here. 
it's Annihilate. Oh, thank goodness I didn't click the other thing. Uh, no point in wide guarding. So it's Star Storm. And it's Liquidation. I don't want to boost you by going into Incineroar. Final Gambit. GG. <laughs> Good, I lost. I, what? I did not see that coming. Should I have seen that coming? Is there anything I could have done about that? No, there's not. Not really. I guess I protect there and then hit them with liquidation, but... Oh my goodness. Alright, we liquidate you. I guess it is a 2v1. But my two are not beating your one. Wow. Yeah, these are not the two I need to beat that one. Explosion and Final Gambit. That is such a cool strat. If you weren't Covert Cloak here, I might have a chance. But Electro Drift will KO both of these Pokemon back to back. Okay, my strongest move is Throat Chop. My strongest move is, believe it or not, Liquidation. Um. The only question is, who do you target first? If you target a Raccoon at first, I can get a free hit with Incineroar. Incineroar is not gonna Oko. So if, and neither is a Raccoon. So I have to get two hits off. So my only win condition is they target a Raccoon on the Protect. That's my only win con. They'll attack Incineroar, I'm sure of it. But my only win count is them not attacking Incineroar. Oh, it's Parabolic Charge? I Oh, Wide Guard would have been the play. I didn't know they had that. Incineroar eats, though. That's huge. Because I can Wide Guard next turn, and they don't know it. Oh, that was a crit? Ooh, that might not be enough. Throat Chop, Wide Guard. Wide Guard always works. It keeps the pr Protect counter. Protect will fail after a wide guard, but wide guard will never fail. So you can protect into wide guard, but wide guard into protect will be bad. And now I've got two on my protect counter, so if I tried to protect next turn, it would be a one in nine. Now we're in big trouble. Because it's another 50 50. If I wide guard and they kill Incineroar, I lose. If I don't wide guard and they parabolic charge, I lose. So their two plays are parabolic charge again, hoping I don't wide guard, or electro drift incineroar, hoping I do wide guard. Because of water bubble, liquidation is actually stronger than lunge. Throat chop. I'm not going to wide guard. If they parabolic charge, they win. Either way, this was a great game. They didn't go for the 50-50. I won! Hooray! <laughs> you still had a shot. Okay, Artemio, you've got Dialga Origin. That is a cool mon. I don't understand your team in the slightest, but Dialga is so cool. Okay, okay. Um, Firewater Grass Core? No, not even. Just Rillaboom, Hisui Arcanine, Bax Calibur, uh, uh, the bird electric guy, Kilowattril, and King Gambit. The only synergy I see here is if the Arcanine has Howl, and that doesn't even synergize with Dialga. Could be a Trick Room team with Bax Calibur. Um, I like Terrapagos and Incineroar. But I don't like leading Incineroar in case they lead King Gambit. Terrapagos could be good with... How am I ever beating Dialga? Honestly, I have no idea how I'm ever going to beat Dialga. Uh, I guess sporing it is the way. I'll bring Amoongus. Uh, I'm a little weak to Rock Slide, so I want a Raquinid. I don't really have a swap into Rock Slide. Do I want Trick Room this time? No, Incineroar seems good. Now they have two things that are countering Intimidate. I'm not going to bring it. I'm going to bring Mimikyu. Yeah, I'm going to bring Mimikyu. I was debating Mimikyu or Farigarath. They do have some priority, but I'm not super worried about their priority. 
And this Mimikyu has, what? Well, it has Will-O-Wisp, right? Yeah. So that could be good against, well, not Arcanine, but King Gambit, not Bax Caliber, but Rillaboom. They've got a good trainer card. Uh, I like that blue sky with the blue mod. It's pretty cool. Rillaboom and King Gambit. Glad I did not bring Incineroar first. Okay, you're pretty safe to fake out Amoongus or Terrapagos and go for a Swords Dance with your King Gambit. I think I need to not be passive. I need to get something done this turn. I'm going to Calm Mind and I'm going to Spore. They can only fake out one of these. And they choose Amoongus, that's good. I was, I was considering a Double Protect, but I think they're going to go for a Swords Dance, and that scares me. But if I could put them to sleep, I'd be much happier. Like, you can be danced up as long as you're taking a nap. Which I'm not going to get till next turn, of course, because I flinched on the boot. Um, let's protect. I don't know if it's Protect Spore. Rillaboom should go first, hit Terrapagos, break its shell, and then they could Kowtow Bleed. But I could redirect just the King Gambit. Yeah, I think I'd redirect just the King Gambit with Rage Powder and try to hit it with an Earth Power. I'll get some uh, Rocky Helmet Chip, I'll get Earth Power. Grassy Glide breaks the shell, but that's fine. I did a lot of damage, actually. Maybe that's not fine. Oh, that was a crit. Okay. Come on, do half. Oh, that does way more than half. I'm happy with that. Now, Tom Cleave is gonna hurt. It's a crit by Amoongus. But you know what? This is fine. I'll Terrastalize, which turns off the grass. And then Starstorm should pick up the King Gambit. And then I can even set Trick Room if I want. Do I want to? I think I do. They had left. They had Arcanine, Bax Caliber, Kilowattril, Dialga. I should be slower than all of that. Um, it can also be a it for no. What's Mimikyu's speed compared to Rillaboom? We're brave. Rillaboom neutral is 105. Yeah, we're slower than Rillaboom. On both of the Oh, speed. No, not a speed tie. This could be a speed tie with Rillaboom if they have no speed. But I feel like Rillaboom's gonna want to switch as soon as the grass gets turned off. Because you probably want your grass back for the end game. So, Terra Star Storm time. And Trick Room time. They can't double into Mimikyu because Sucker Punch would fail. Um, they could double into Terrapagos with Woodhammer Sucker Punch. Ooh, that could be annoying. But I have to attack, otherwise they can double Mimikyu. If I let them double Mimikyu and, and I just protect Terrapagos, that could be a game ender. I'm a, I'm a Plus Woodhammer. No, I think Terrapagos might die to that, if that's what they go for. So they do go for Sucker Punch. And just Grassy Glide into Mimikyu. Oh, that's fine. Oh, thank you for splitting. I'm perfectly content with that. That also confirms that... Well, that could still be a speed tie, but you won the speed tie. Which implies to me that I'm actually slower than you. Do over half. That does way over half to Rillaboom. Nice! That's so good. And we get up the Trick Room. All right, show me Dialga or something now. I'm ready. I'm really not ready, but I'm ready. Um, I kind of want to get into Araquanid sooner rather than later. I wouldn't want to swap into a Rock Slide, though. That could be devastating. It's Dialga. Who's floating? 
That thing is enormous. Alright, I gotta call mine boost, right? So my special defense is up. Oh, I wish I had a Moongus. Who's gonna do more damage, Araquanid or Mimikyu? Mimikyu actually would do more damage to Dialga. Uh, but I think Starstorm and bring in Araquanid is fine. It'll give me pressure against whoever comes out for Rillaboom's death, or swap. Uh, and a Flash Cannon could be coming into this slot right now, so which Araquanid can take really well. Yeah, Rillaboom just decided to swap. They want the grass for later. I'm okay with that. And Arcanine comes in, that's great. I like having my Liquidation Bot here. If both of these Pokemon survive the turn, I think we're in a good position. Draco Meteor is the hardest thing they can hit me with, and I live! Yes! Star Storm! Ooh, huge damage. Love it. All right, the E-Speed is so obvious. But would you Terra E speed? Do you have a Terra that lives Iraq when it hits? I'm content to just protect, get a little healing, and throw a liquidation at Arcanine. Because extreme speed will knock out from here. Oh, and the communication was ended. Good game to my opponent. I guess that's a win. Alright, back here with the rental. Uh, I do confirm that the opponent was the one who disconnected, not me in that last match, so it makes sense. Terrapagos had them up against the wall. That was so fun. Uh, thank you again, uh, Jayotic NL, for sharing this team. Terrapagos is sick. I don't know how it's going to end up being in the meta. As you saw, there were some positions where I was kind of forced. It's kind of like Ogre Pond, where it doesn't have much... Uh, choice when it comes to Terra. It's a Terra Hog, but it stays a normal type, so you keep your fighting weakness. At least with Ogre Pond, like, some of your weaknesses do change. But with Terrapagos, you're weak to fighting, and then you're still weak to fighting. Uh, it's also very weak to Snarl. In my opinion, Terrapagos with something like a Covert Cloak might work pretty well, but the Leftovers is a big deal. So I'm not sure exactly how you would get around that. Maybe with more consistency on the pollen puffs. But anyway, this team was great, as you can tell. We fought some actual Reg G teams, which was so fun. Uh, so there's the rental code. I recommend you try this out if you haven't used Terrapagos yet. Uh, anyway, I'm Jordy, and uh, alright, peace.